Hello Sagittarius and welcome to the tarot room. My name is Robin. Whoa, we'll take that one. And Sag, today we're going to do a reading about the person on your mind. Let's talk about this person, shall we Sagittarius? Let's find out first of all how they're thinking and feeling about you. Let's talk about what their intentions are, what they want from this connection. And let's talk about their actual. We have conversation. I want to call you and hear your voice. And we have missed opportunity. Mm -mm -mm. Tisk, tisk. I should have acted. No, wait, let me rephrase because I'm not even reading the card. I didn't act when I should have. Okay, someone's got some regrets here, Sadre. Right? Now they want to talk. They want to talk. What is the hidden heart here? What are the heart's desires? We got foundation, established, family, and security. We have community, marriage, woo, proposing, and excuse me, promises and fidelity. All right, let's talk about the Sag. Let's see what's going on with the person on your mind. Spirit guys, the person Sag is thinking about the most. Okay, page of pentacles. Your person definitely wants to talk. All right, let's see what that all means. And Sag, for those of you who are interested, I am open for personal readings. If you'd like one of those, the link is in the description box below. All right, what are their intentions? What do they want? The Six of Wands in reverse. They want you stuck on them. <laughs> All right, and their actual, what can you expect here? Yeah, the Eight of Wands. There's some forward movement here. There's a lot of communication. There's the Eight of Swords. And there's, whoa, Nelly. This person be thinking a lot about you. This will happen sometimes when we have regrets. Okay, let me grab my clarifiers here. I should have grabbed them ahead of time, but I didn't. Let's talk about this page of pentacles. You could be dealing with a Taurus or a Capricorn. There could be an age difference between the two of you. Um, but let's see what they want to talk about. Let's see what they want to say. The pages are typically messengers. But this guy's got a lot of golden here. There's a lot of... All right, let's see what's going on. How, well, first of all, let's just see how they feel and think about you. We know they want to talk. So I'm going to sort... Oh, damn. Damn. Okay, the two of pentacles, the ten of pentacles. Well... They see you as relationship, husband, wife, material. There's someone you want to be in a relationship with. There's the four swords. They think that you might have withdrawn here due to their lack of activity or their lack of expression or just maybe their lack of. Uh, the three swords and the seven of swords. Uh, I mean, this, this could be them feeling like they hurt you, uh, but I kind of feel like it's them not being honest that damaged this connection and they know it. Um, and they want to rectify that. They want to make that up to you. But how are they actually feeling about Saggy? This is more about what they want. What are they feeling? How do they think? How do they perceive Sagittarius? <sighs> they are at peace when they are with you. You are their happiness. <laughs> the fool. Uh, and there's the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, we finally got something here. So they think you're independent. They think you're attractive. Um, they think you take care of business. They might think you're very financially stable and abundant. Uh, it doesn't matter what you think. That's weird that I said that, but they see you as being successful, abundant, um, and independent here, Sag. They see you as being their happiness. We have the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles in their feelings for you. With this Page of Pentacles, they want to offer you the world, baby. Um, well, that's what they want. They want a relationship with you. They see you as very independent. Remember, the Knight of Pentacles is the Empress in, you know, the pre-Empress, the minor arcana to the Empress energy. Emperor, if you would do. Uh, but independence, a lot of potential. They want a family. If you don't want a family, that's cool. Maybe some fur babies. If you don't want some fur babies, that's cool too. Uh, but they see you as someone to build a life with. That's what they want. Hmm. All right. Six of Wands in reverse is their intentions. <laughs> that's to make you stuck on them. They want you stuck on them the way that they're stuck on you. Uh, what else do you want to say about this here? Five of Swords. Ten of Wands. There's the Ace of Swords. They want to speak their truth. They want to walk away from these burdens. They definitely are stuck on you. They definitely want you stuck on them. Uh, they want to talk. The Ten of Wands with the Five of Swords. They are stressed out. They are burdened. They are worrying. We see this when we have the Eight and the Nine of Swords. They be thinking a lot. Maybe a little too much. Um, but like I said, that that's what happens when you have regrets. So this person didn't commit or they didn't progress this forward and they want that. They want these solid foundations with you. Um, they know what they want. And that's to walk away from the stress and burden of not being with you. Um, okay. Now their actions are the eight of wands. It's a very active action oriented card right here. It could be card of forward movement, card of communication, card of messages, but really it's incoming good news. So I think you're going to like what they have to say, but let's find out what does this say so on? What can Sagittarius expect in the near future from this person on their mind? The nine of swords. Yeah. The queen of wands. 
Why is this motherfucking seven swords coming out so often? <laughs> I knew she was gonna come out. I knew she was gonna make a grounds appearance. Yeah. Uh, and they're being very strategic. Okay, they're gonna be saying all the right things, doing all the right things here. They're coming to make an impression on you. There's the page of pentacles. There's the page of pentacles. Could be another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. Could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Heavy emphasis on Taurus and Virgo. Um, but they want to come and speak their truth. The seven is, they're being very strategic here. I, I think they've thought long and hard. They could be like typing up the text and then not sending it. Typing it and not sending it. They could come with a little list to make sure they say what they got to say. But they'd be replaying conversations. They'd be setting this out in their mind. They're coming to talk to you. They want to be with you. They're going to make you feel very valued, very appreciated. Like I said, they want to come through and make you know that they want you. They want to come through and let you know that they value and appreciate you. There's that Ace of Pentacles and the strength. So they're having the courage and the strength here to express themselves, to reach out, to let make you feel appreciated, valued, and special. Like I said, I got the feeling here they just want to give everything to you. Why they didn't before, I don't know. Yeah, maybe they were guarded. Maybe they're focused on work here as in saying that. And there's the hermit. They were withdrawn. Maybe not emotionally available, but they are now. They're coming through for commitment. You can expect to hear from this person, Sag. Um, and you can expect, um, I'm going to say some compliments. <laughs> and I'm going to say someone is going to make you feel real good. Okay. Well, that's what we got here. Let's get some oracles. Let's see what they want to say. And we shall get back to the top row. What is the current connection between Sagittarius and this person on their mind? Ah, spiritual. Your spiritual journey is beginning. So there's definitely a strong spiritual connection here. Maybe you have woken, you know, that uh, connection in within them. Maybe they are with you. I don't know. I don't know. Let's just grab the lover's oracles. Let's see what messages come through. Talk to us, baby. Will this ever change? Well, that's up to you, motherfucker. Okay. Ah, uh, I can't say some of those words on YouTube. We get in trouble. They're controversial. But you can read. Oh, that's on the bottom here. I have to let you go to find myself. So that could have been the reason for the separation, for the withdrawal. I just want one more for some reason. Why can't I move on from you? They are stuck a lack of glue. A stuck a lack of glue. I don't know there's a song, but I don't know how it goes. <laughs> All right, Saj. Well, oh, they want me to get the hidden truth. Okay, hold on. I wasn't going to, but let's do it. Now, if they could say something that they're not saying and they want to say, they should. Maybe they shouldn't, but you need to know. I want you. Most definitely. I'm afraid to contact you, yeah. And I know I messed everything up. Uh-huh. Question is, how bad did they mess up? And can they come back from that? So let's find out, shall we, Saj? Let's get your potential outcome. Now, when I say potential, there is always free will. You're going to make the decisions. You're going to make, baby. And when I say outcome, let's see where you are in a month, Saj. Let's see how this conversation goes. Let's see how things progress. Let's see how you feel about this. I feel like they're going to be saying all the right things. Yeah, there's the Three of Cups. There's the Death. Big transformation here. Could be dealing with Scorpio. So Death. Ooh. Yeah, <laughs> The Lovers. Gemini energy in the house. Yeah, there's the Knight of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy in the house. One more. There's you. Temperance. Yeah. Well, damn. I know you see that. I know you see it. There's a really strong spiritual soul bond connection between this person. Uh, there's a big change in this connection. Let me tell you something. This moves quickly. Uh, you guys are jumping right into a relationship here. There's a Knight of Cups. They came in romancing, whining, and dining. Could be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But you got some romantic evenings in your future, Saj. They lock you down. They want you stuck on them. They're stuck on you. They don't want you going nowhere, and they ain't going nowhere. You guys are enjoying each other's company, having a lot of fun, dating, uh, and then in a relationship. So you date for a few weeks, and you guys commit. Um, I see this moving forward. I see quite a balance. You most likely complement each other very well. You know, this Knight of Swords isn't hostile in this deck, right? He's looking at his sword. He's looking at the Sword of Truth, the Ace of Swords. He knows how he feels. He's going after it. This moves quickly. This moves forward. This person does make you feel the way they should have made you feel back there. But hey, everything in divine timing. You guys are in a relationship, Sag. So the person on your mind in a month, you have some romantic nights. You guys are making memories. You're having some fun. You're enjoying each other's company. There's a huge change in this relationship. They progress this forward. Sag, that's what, so, that's what we got. That's what's going down. <laughs> so Sagittarius, if you like your reading, if you like my style, I do ask that you like, comment, subscribe. Helps my channel to grow. Thank you, Sagittarius. I always appreciate your support. Let's close your reading off with a yes or no question. Yes or no. What's the answer for Sagittarius? There it is. What is it? Yup. <laughs> All right. 
Yep. That's what I got, Sag. I truly wish you the best of luck. Until next time.